Hello everyone, I am Sanjeev and welcome to RO 1.0x Introduction to Robotics and Visual Navigation course. Uh, this course is our first offering on the topic of robotics and it also happens to be our first offering in category 2 courses. At DeepEigen, we have courses divided into three different categories. These are category 1 and category 2. And then category 1 is further subdivided into category 1A and category 1B. Our category 1 courses are theoretically very, very deep courses. Uh, the theoretical depth of category 1 courses can be compared to the theoretical depth of graduate courses at perhaps one of the top 15 or top 10 graduate programs in the world. So this is the amount of theory that we cover in category 1 courses. A full length category 1A course can sometimes even exceed uh, the content as well as the theoretical depth when compared to the category 1 uh, when compared to the graduate school courses at perhaps one of the top graduate programs in the world. So this is how theoretically deep category 1A courses are. They can be too broad and too deep at the same time. Our category 1B courses to compare them uh, they can be uh, they are similar to a one semester long graduate school course at perhaps one of the top 10 out of 15 graduate programs in the world. Uh, so this is uh, the amount of theory that we cover in uh, category 1 courses. Along with covering the theory, we also focus a lot on the practical application of the theory and the algorithms uh, that we cover in category 1 courses so that you learn the theory as well as their application in real world at the same time. And we often link the theory and the algorithms to the state of the art. Our category 2 courses are much more focused towards practical applications, uh, but we cover the theories uh, sufficiently deeply whenever it is required. Uh, so to, to compare category 1 and category 2 courses, our category 1 courses have a lot of case studies uh, whenever, uh, for example, when we discuss a research paper, the, 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 we, would, uh, we would be deriving the entire mathematical details of a research paper and this becomes a case study. So category 1A courses often have a lot of case study of research papers, but this kind of case study is typically not a part of category 2 courses unless it is specifically mentioned in the course outline. Uh, for example, in this course, in, uh, for example, in this course in particular, in module 1, uh, we are going to cover some interest point detectors and descriptors. And the discussion of some of the blob, uh, some of the blob detectors, if you want to come, if you want to uh, cover their theory, uh, then covering that theory would become a case study of recently published research paper. And this cannot be incorporated as part of category 2 course. But we do cover uh, the entire theoretical derivation of some of the uh, classical interest point detectors such as the Harris and Shitomasi corner detectors. So the bottom line is uh, our category 2 courses are uh, much more practically oriented and we cover the theory sufficiently deeply whenever it is required. So this course uh, as the name implies it's an introduction to robotics and visual navigation course. So this course is going to have two components, robotics and visual navigation. Uh, and thus we cover uh, all the three major technical fronts that is a perception, planning and localization uh, that is a part of any robotic system or an autonomous driving vehicle in general. Uh, so in this course, uh, we are going to cover a lot of algorithms and the theoretical derivation of some of the algorithms so that you not just build uh, the knowledge about how the app, uh, about what how these algorithms are applied in real world and when they're applied but you also build the theoretical background behind these algorithms so that you have a holistic understanding and uh, perhaps you can take the content of this course and apply it in some real world industrial robotic problem warehouse robotic problem or any other robotic problem for that matter so next we will discuss uh, each of these pipelines very briefly giving you a very high level idea as to what uh, as, as to what are the functionalities of perception planning and localization algorithms in a typical robotic system or an autonomous driving vehicle